mobile app for the Sage Accounting Individual Plan. The mobile app for the Sage Accounting Individual Plan enables you to manage expenses and income on the go. Keeping your records digitally throughout the year means you can easily avoid the unnecessary scramble for receipts for the tax deadline. All the while, digitising your records in one place and simplifying your tax records. In this video, we'll teach you how to use the mobile app. You'll learn how to add and view bank accounts, scan or upload images to create transactions using Receipt Scan, process draft transactions, enter transactions manually, access further help and guidance. Changes you make on your mobile device are automatically updated in the web application, giving you peace of mind and valuable time back to focus on growing your business. Get started with the mobile app. The mobile app can be found in both the Apple and Android stores by searching for Sage Individual. Please note what's displayed may differ slightly depending on what device and operating system you're using. However, the functionality is the same over all devices. You can use the mobile app with both the individual plan, free, and the individual plan. The functionality of the mobile app will differ depending on the product you're signed up for. If you don't already have access to the individual plan, please contact your accountant. When you open the app on your device, you're prompted to enter your individual plan credentials. Once entered, click Login. Currently, there are two primary areas designed to help you enter and manage your digital records. Transactions and Banking. These areas include the same functionality and information as the web application. We'll start with Banking. To begin, press Banking. From here, you can create and manage your bank, cash and credit card accounts. Set up the accounts you need, connect to your online banking and view your account totals. The account total shown here is the sum of transactions processed, not a reflection of the live bank balance. By default, there is a cash account created for you. In the individual free plan, you can have up to two bank accounts. If you require more, contact your accountant to upgrade to the individual plan. You can add a new bank account if required. To do this, press this icon. Choose the account type and enter an account name. The additional information isn't mandatory. To save the details and create this bank account, press Save. If you require an opening balance on this bank account, add this using the web application. Bank Feeds A bank feed is a secure connection between your bank account and the individual plan. It's the fastest way to bring in transactions and add categories to them. Useful information to know before connecting to a bank feed. Some bank providers require you to log in to your online banking. Ensure you have your online banking credentials to hand. Your bank provider may send a code or message to your phone or email for extra security. Ensure you have access to the phone or email address registered with your bank. For additional security, you'll have to re-enter your online bank credentials every 90 days. This frequency may vary based on your bank provider. To connect a bank feed. From Banking, navigate to the bank account you want to connect and click Connect. Alternatively, press the bank tile here and then connect to your bank. Choose your bank account if you're banking with one of the following banks. If your bank doesn't appear, start typing the name of your bank or credit card company in the search box. 
bank fee transactions can be backdated for up to three months. If you need to bring in transactions prior to three months, you will need to manually add transactions. Follow the on-screen steps to authorise the connection with your bank. The connection process may vary depending on your bank provider. Once you set up bank feeds, your bank transactions appear in draft transactions. Manage your bank accounts. To view or edit an existing bank account, press the relevant bank account tile. Within the view screen, you can see the account name, account type, the bank feed status, and the account total. To edit the bank account, click edit. Once an account is created, you can't edit the account type. To edit the account name, overwrite the current name here. You can add or edit the additional information here. To save your changes, press save. You'll return to the view bank account window. If a bank feed is connected and you would like to disconnect this, press disconnect bank account. Return to banking. If you no longer use an account, marking it as inactive prevents transactions being created for that account. You can't mark an account as inactive if a bank feed is connected. To mark a bank account that's connected to a bank feed as inactive, you'll need to disconnect your bank feed first. To mark the account as inactive, press Record Account as Inactive. Let's move on to transactions. You can add transactions in three different ways. Auto-create transactions using Receipt Scan. From Bank Feeds, add transactions manually. To access the transactions area, press Transactions. First, let's look at Scan an Image. Here, you can add a digital copy of your transaction by taking a photo or uploading an image. To do this, press Scan an Image. Items shown here are either currently processing or fully processed. To upload a new document, press the camera icon. Choose the transaction type, then choose your upload method. Your choices are add from files, add from photos, and take a picture. When initiating money out transactions by auto create from an image or PDF, an extra option will appear in the web application, enabling you to email documents in the individual plan. You can send or forward emails with the relevant documents attached. We use the information on the images to create draft transactions. To obtain the unique email address required to email the documents, visit the web application and create a money out transaction using AutoCreate. Your unique email address will show here. For the purpose of this demonstration, we'll take a photograph of a receipt. While processing, this appears here. With machine learning embedded, the individual plan can also predict the category for you. This technology will gradually learn and improve over time as you use it, meaning the more it's used, the better the accuracy of the categorization. Once processed, the transaction will appear here and in your draft transactions. To complete this transaction, select the file. Alternatively, you can complete this transaction within the draft transactions area. The date, description and amount appear automatically. Select the relevant bank account for this transaction by pressing Select a payment source. Then, if not automatically assigned, choose a category here. You can record this as a refund or transfer if applicable and view the document by pressing Open Attachments. Before saving your transaction, you can split this into several categories. Split transactions allow you to divide a transaction amount across more than one category. For example, if you purchased petrol 
for both travel and personal purposes, you could split this into two categories and make part of the amount a non-allowable expense. Non-allowable expenses, also known as disallowable expenses, are not deductible against your income when calculating taxable profit. Allowable expenses are those spent to run your business. These are deductible against your income when calculating taxable profit. It's important to accurately categorise expenses to ensure you get a true picture of your business expenses and to keep your tax report up to date. For further guidance on categories, please speak to your accountant. To split the transaction, press Edit, check the details shown, and press Next. Select Split Transaction and press Add Item. Choose to add a new item or add this as a non-business expense. Enter the amount here and the category here. If this is a disallowable item, press here. Enter the disallowable amount and press Adjust. To save the first item in your split transaction, press Save Item. The remaining amount to be categorised is shown here. Repeat the process, adding multiple items until the transaction has been split accordingly. The amount remaining should be zero. To continue, press Next. Review the transaction details and once happy, save the split by selecting Save Split. To continue, press Next. You can save your progress as a draft or complete this item by pressing Save. To return to the Transactions menu, press here. Draft Transactions is where we can add money in and money out in various ways. Draft transactions can be considered as an inbox for digital records. Regardless of the source, pending transactions will appear here until all information has been verified and missing details entered. Once the transactions have been processed and assigned a category, they'll move to completed transactions. For any transactions that can't be captured through a bank feed or a scanned document, you can add these manually. To view and process your draft transactions, press here. Your transactions are listed, newest at the top, to oldest at the bottom. To view the details of a transaction listed here, select the transaction by pressing on the tile. Select a category here. A description is shown for each category to help you choose the right one. However, you can switch off the descriptions here. Select a category. Before saving, you may want to add an attachment, such as a receipt, and store it digitally. To do this, press Open Attachments and then Add Attachments. Follow the on-screen steps to upload the document. The maximum file size for the individual plan is 100 megabytes. The maximum file size for the individual plan free is 5 megabytes. If you'd like to split this transaction between multiple categories for tax purposes, choose Edit and then press Next. To split the transaction, press here. Add each split item as necessary, following the on-screen process. Once you're happy with the information entered and to complete this transaction, click Save. The saved transaction will now appear in Completed Transactions. Let's now learn how to manually create money in and money out transactions. This method supplements bank feeds and receipt scan. Use this if you need to enter transactions not reflected in your bank account or you don't have a receipt to capture. 
you can manually create and manage four types of transactions. Money in, income. Money out, expense. Transfers and deposits. Refunds and reimbursements. To create a manual transaction, press this icon from the Transactions menu. This is also accessible in Draft Transactions and Completed Transactions. To create a Money In transaction, select Money In. From the list, choose either Income, Transfer or Deposit, or Refund. Enter the details of the transaction including the amount, source, the bank account you received the money into, date and description. Press Next. Select a category for your transaction or split this between multiple categories if required. Then press Next. Save as a draft or press Save to move this transaction to completed transactions. To create a Money Out transaction, select Money Out. From the list, select either Expense, Transfer or Refund. Enter the details of the transaction, including the amount, the bank account you've paid money from, date and description. Press Next. Select a category for your transaction or split this between multiple categories if required. Then press Next. Save as a draft or press Save to move this transaction to Completed Transactions. Completed Transactions Once the transactions have been processed and assigned a category, they'll move to Completed Transactions. To view or edit your completed transactions, press here. Your opening balances and completed transactions are listed, newest at the top to oldest at the bottom. To view the details of a transaction listed here, select the transaction by pressing on the tile. To edit the transaction, press Edit and make any necessary changes. Don't forget to follow all steps and press Save Changes. Once saved, you'll automatically return to the View Transaction screen. To add attachments, press Open Attachments and follow the on-screen steps. To delete the transaction, press Delete Transaction at the bottom of the screen. Once a transaction has been deleted, it cannot be recovered. Any attachments will be deleted along with the transaction. Profile to access your profile, press this icon. You can view your business and login details here. Changes to these details can be made using the web application. View and change your privacy settings for the mobile app here. View the terms and conditions here. For further help and support, choose Help with Accounting Individual. From here, access step-by-step -step guides and search for the topic you need more help with. To access more help, such as online chat, please visit the web application. To log out, press here. You've now learned how to use the mobile app for the Sage Accounting Individual Plan. Everything you need for seamless, automated and digital ways of working.